There's a cow giving birth. I would only assume it's on its bottom. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm here at Always Remember That Antique Mall in Wisconsin. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Okay, so there is a lot to see here, I can already tell. And we're gonna look for all the vintage that we can find for resale like we usually do. Poodles, it's a gold poodle set? I haven't seen that before. $10 as is, what is as is about you? I have never seen somebody, did somebody do that like later on or? Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Some, some of the spaghetti detailing is, you know, let me look at this closely. I'm actually, I'm actually considering this. It has the little stones attached to its tail on the head. I'm gonna get that, honestly. I, I think, look at the eyelashes on the poodle. Those beautiful eyelashes. Oh, that's gonna be good. The gold, like I've just, I haven't seen that before. And $10, I read that backwards. It's not 75% off, it's 25%. So look at that, I'm even getting, I'm even getting 25% off of, 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 that's like, just whatever that is, it's like 775 or something. That's a good little deal. I'm gonna take that up front. They don't have baskets or carts, unfortunately, so it's gonna be, a back and forth kind of day. Well, you know, Christmas is coming. They have these mercury glass strung beads. They're German, $44 for this set here, $58 for the blue and silver mercury set. Let's try to get a better view here. You got this pink and silver, $30 for the just the regular blue balls. Goofus glass, $5 Goofus glass. You know, if you wanted something to collect that's not very expensive, Goofus glass. And, um, you know, it could be a fun time to look for really good examples of it where it's not worn away. It does exist, you just gotta look hard. But, um, oh, all, all these are so pretty. $43 for this one, that green and silver one right there. And that's pretty. You know, very pretty and all that, right? Yes. <gasps> Oh, there's more Christmas happening over here. This might be a perpetual Christmas booth. You might be. You might always be tis the season. You might always be. They got Christmas in bags. Now that's pretty. It's only $3 too for this painted bowl. A little windmill on there. It's not marked with anything. Lovely. We love a good dish like that. Yes, we do. Well, maybe you don't, but I do. I don't mind it at all. There's a hen on a nest. This is cute too, this little green with a silver overlay. Yes, you're beautiful. There's a piece of Wedgwood in the Jasperware for six. That's not badly priced either. No, you're not. Surely not. There's a cow giving birth. I would only assume it's on its bottom. It's had enough of standing. Charlotte, Royal Crown, Ferd, Ironstone, England. This is really pretty. It's this bird basket. It's a bird basket. And it's of a planter, $6, which is not bad at all. I can't make out the bottom though. I was thinking maybe it says Japan, but I don't know if it's barely, it couldn't, might even say Spain. I, I don't, I can't make that wording out. So, I don't know, but it's beautiful and it's well done too. It's airbrushed. I just think it's really lovely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that for $6. I think it'll be a good, good thing to do. Oh, we've got some artwork up here, I see. There's a winter scene for 32. It's pretty. Lady sewing up her clothes. What's over this way? We've got some jewel tea dishes, barley, spice tins, handheld mixers, some some uh, people, some people wondering about what to do with the, the field. This booth is 50% off, and I happened to look down and noticed this. And it's a piece of Wedgwood. It's Eteria, and it's 
Queen's wear and it would be half of $35 which is a really good price beautifully done blue I have sold this exact piece before with pink detailing so here we have it with the blue it's gl glazed it's glossy look at the bottom stamp Eturia Wedgwood made in England has the wonderful stamp there it also has the incised mark off to the side there the ink I don't know if you can see it with the light most Wedgwood is marked with that embossed right there it's mostly embossed but then some of it is stamped as well so I'm gonna get this one it's really good really happy to get that that's a really pretty vase that would be so great for the fall. Well, I can't read that worth anything. How much is it? Oh, there we go. $42 striped vase. It's marked with some numbers too. Hmm, so that's the mold. I don't immediately recognize this marking. It looks high quality to me. It looks like a good, good piece of pottery I would just be buying it for myself if I bought it because it's heavy and I don't want to ship it so yeah but I like that a lot there's some real you know autumn is a really great time of year because of the oranges and the, the well orange I, I like orange I like that deeper orange color but not all year I just like it in the fall so that's good it's good to have that every now and again okay so won't do that. That's lovely. It says it's the Sunshine Bride. It's so cute. It's the frame is great and everything. Well, it looks like an early eight, uh, early 1900s or late 1800s print. It's $19, and it uh, talks about it. Steward, Steward, something. News broadcast. I have no clue. His dad worked for Small Biscuit Company, or some kind of a business company. Hmm. That's neat. I, I couldn't quite read all the, the writing. Maybe somebody else could, but I like the print a lot. So we've got like all these like little pockets back in here to look through. We've got these, these are decanter. I think they're decanter. Yeah, those are decanters. That's a cookie jar in the center though. Lady, I have this. I need to sell her. Marilyn Monroe, I have that same exact piece. I need to sell that. One of these days, I just keep forgetting about her. Well, I found another 50% off booth, which is amazing. I love a good 50% off booth. I happen to see a crisscross butter dish right here. So this is Hazel Atlas, $8, which would mean it's $4. I'm gonna, let's look it over, because that's a really good price. Okay, a tiny flea bite right there on the bottom. Let's look at the, let's look at the bottom. Let's look at the bottom dish here. <gasps> looks good. That looks really good. Crisscross by Hazel Atlas. Produced in the 30s, 1930s, mostly. And they made it in cobalt blue. They made it in green. Oh, wait a minute. There's a little flea bite here. It's right on the edge, but for $4. And this is of the larger. This is, um, I think they call that a pound, maybe a pound, or is it two pounds? It's either, maybe it's one pound. It's the one pound butter dish. Um, so it's a little bit harder to find this one in particular. So, yikes. That's brilliant. Four dollars for that. I'll have to keep looking in this one booth because 50% is nothing to laugh at. It's nothing to sneeze at. Now these are really cool. I haven't really seen these before. It's painted on wood with plaster. Oh my gosh, it's this winter scene. There's a winter scene and a spring scene. $50 firm, but that's like $25 a piece. And I mean, these are lovely. Wait, is that painted? I'm being a silly little goose. Okay, so it's a lithograph and then painted over it with, um, so all this high relief stuff is painted. But then the picture, this the main part of the cabin, that's all a print. Oh, that's a great way to do it. That's really affordable then. Um, but that is not, these are old too. The shapes of them are really, really neat as well. Like, I mean, I'm, that's just, 
Hopefully somebody buys these because they're really cool. You're really cool, guys. You really are. Don't hate me. I'm putting this back. I decided it just has too many problems. It's not savable. Well, it is, but let somebody else deal with it. It's cool. I've sold it before. It's all right, but eh, I don't know. I wish it was in better shape. So no 50% off for me. That's Thomas Edison's house. For That would be $8. That woman is... She'd be $11. But see, I mean... I don't want those, so they're cool, but I don't really want to deal with them. So which way do we got to go? This way? They've got this Wedgwood over here. They got the Wedgwoods. And this is like the traditional, the traditional type. Okay, look, we're doing jewelry for a difference here. Three dollars for these glass, art glass bracelets. I'm going to look through here and grab a few of them because, like, they are blown, they're art glass. There's a little shell looking thing on that one. I like the ones with the bigger beads. There's some with smaller beads. And I'm going to, I'm going to load up. I'll let you know what I end up getting. Okay, here's the ones I got. So I got this one. Right there. I got this one. You can see the beads, they're all different ones. This one, with little hearts on it, and that's pretty. There's some purple in that one as well. There's this one, look at that big one, there. That's a pretty one too. And then this one. So I'm getting those. That's the ones I'm gonna get. Very nice glass. This is lovely, it's $20. I like to usually pay less for these, but Oh, this one has a little bit of damage on top. So there we go. You can see that one. I like this one because it's vertical. A lot of them aren't that narrow. That's a beautiful frame. You know, I was thinking about it, but for 20, I think I'm not gonna go ahead and do it. I almost did it, but I'm not. Almost. But it, it's very, very pretty. Here's all the little Christmas thingamajigs in the bags. Looks like a lot of newer stuff. Like that says 2005 on it. This might be a reproduction. It says made. Why'd they? They didn't even want you to know who made it. Maybe it was Japan. It's adorable for $6. It, I mean, they're, they could do redos of, redo, what are they called? Repro, reproductions of those? They could. This little guy, this one looks new. Little wooden toys made in, uh, made in Taiwan pieces from the 70s and 80s. Got some green glass over here. A melty candle wax thing. And then all these ornaments. Ooh, individual shiny brights. Some are $15, some are $16, some are $8, some are $7. Ooh, there's moons on there. A little moon. Little moon. All right, so I just finished up here and I did pretty good. I didn't really buy a whole lot. I think around $60 worth, but uh, for now I'll wrap it up. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.